This is about redistricting, deciding the boundaries for state legislators. Voters approved a major change two years ago. That in and of itself is a reason to be against Amendment 3. Amendment 3 supporters say the voter approved new districting rules could lead to weird looking districts linking together voters with unrelated interests. You're going to have to draw large swaths of urban core Kansas City into rural Missouri and then vice versa. And it hasn't really shown up in the states where we've had significant anti-gerrymandering um, initiatives pass or legislation pass. Reformers like Hardenbrook say that Missouri is more politically competitive than this 2016 map of the governor's race results and that the 2018 changes would fix that. Amendment 3 supporters say their idea protects the one person, one vote rule and that there is no plan to exclude anyone but non-citizens from being counted when they draw the lines. Still, during a Senate debate, the Amendment 3 sponsor was asked if everybody counted in the census would be counted under Amendment 3 or just eligible voters. That would be Missourians over 18. The people that are able to vote is, are the people that are, that are counted. You know, Those are which, the only people which, that not, you Not put. registered voters, but, but the opportunity to do that. Now that's not in the law, but that's what he said. And Missouri will start the redistricting process next year. Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News.